Hi, this is Lennon McCarthy. This is part 10 of my Mass Effect Odyssey. I realized last time I forgot to talk to Caden and Joker, but I'm going to talk to them later. I want to explore strange new worlds and all that stuff. Um, I think I want to do a side mission first. Okay. Um, I don't remember what this one is. Hydra system and Argus row. Okay. because it's extensive. Message coming in. Patching it through. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Cargo's... Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last... Please hurry. Okay. Um, I guess I'll take Caden because he has biotic abilities. Um, I, don't know, I guess I'll take Rex. Taking the Mako up for a spin. Okay. Um, look at the map. Okay. Maybe I'll go to this anomaly first. Um, okay. He has some points I can give him. Okay, let's get this. Lift. Let's see what else do I want? I'll do a save here. Uh, 
All right, so I'm taking the Mako for a spin. So I installed some basic mods and got the advice to turn up the gravity on the Mako. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. It still feels like the Mako. I always liked the Mako when the, when the game came out. It does, it, the way it handles is pretty ridiculous though. Gravity always seems like you're on the moon no matter where you are. Um, where is this anomaly? see it. Is it going to be Geth or something? No. No, that's the wrong button. Okay. This artifact has a familiar minigame. Okay, that's exciting. Okay. Alright. You know, a person could make a joke about the Mako turning into a driver who's a woman or an elderly person or an Asian. I would never make a joke like that though. <laughs> Wee! I love how you can just fall off like a huge cliff and it doesn't get any damage. Oh, that sucks. So that's one of the reasons I want to get my decryption electronics up. Anyway, well that sucks, but uh, back to the mission. <laughs> A person might actually want to plot a route that makes sense, but you don't have to overthink it too much of the Mako. You can usually scale up almost anything. Not quite anything, though. Well, it looks like we have some uh, caramel corn over there too on our display. We want to check that out. All right. Whoops, uh, this probably isn't going to work. Ah, got it. Okay.
There's the down ship. This must be the place. Careful, Shepard. I've got a... Oh, yeah, no. It's a trap! <laughs> That's sad. Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, this probably isn't going to go well. We'll let it. First time of the game doing this. I'm going to hide. <laughs> Alright, let me see how this zoom works. Alright, so I can do the super zoom. Where are they? Went too far away. I don't see them. Oh, oh, they're there. Okay, this isn't good. This is not good. Oh, that was better. My tires are on fire. Should I fix it? I have a lot of Omni Gel. Alright, stop moving. Alright. Tires go on fire first, but they don't blow up. Okay, where are these? Ah, there's too many of them. I guess I'm supposed to go up and fight them close up, but it's dangerous. there all by itself. Alright, let's see if this is anything. <laughs> just blow up. <laughs> thought I got all the guys. And looks like there's nothing to see here. Well, that sucks. Um, I guess I get into the vehicle about leveling up. Um, electronic skills still low. Mm -hmm. Get his armor up. Well, that required no combat outside of the Mako. Okay, I already surveyed that. Alright, I guess we're done here. Okay, I guess I'll go and talk to Joker and Caden. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. 
All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I can't have you on this ship if you're going to infect my crew. <laughs> infect the crew? Oh man, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Okay, I've got Vrolix syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Um, yeah, I kind of like that sound. I need to know more about this Vrolik syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, ankles. My bones were already breaking in the wound. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not going to break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander. So I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, hmm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. They get what they deserve. Um, thought this was personalized. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of the crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. Um, okay. I have to go. Alright, see ya. Not defensive at all. Okay, let's go find uh, Caden. He's up here. Anything you need, Commander? Um... What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll True. have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? That was fascinating. Glad I did that. What new equipment did I get? I thought I got some. Oh, it's not showing it. That was a quick mission. I guess we can do this one, maybe. Okay, Strena system of the Horsehead Nebula Cluster. I'll do a save, too.
Oh, I didn't scan the other planets or resources or anything. Oh, that's the one where I landed. Where is it? I wish they showed you when you completed investigating places like you do in the later games. Again. Didn't matter last time. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Hold enough for you. Oh, 
Oh crap. Uh oh. Well, how did he spit around a corner? Is that what he did? Does it come to me? I can spit sideways. Oh, this is ridiculous. How does he spit sideways like that? That's ridiculous. Alright, let's repair it. Oh, this should be exciting waiting for the waiting for the cooldown to end. Speaking of cooldown, do you think that the uh, freezing weather might help us not overheat? But you'd be wrong. All right, let's repair some more. Try this again. I didn't know that thing was gonna spit at me sideways like that. I'm gonna spit at me? Yes. Sure, if I'm hitting it, I think I jumped too soon. Oh, it sucked. Oh, it didn't hit me though. Just gonna keep on doing that, huh? How's that working out for you? Nice. I think we got it. Ah. All right, I have to get my electronics up. I should have done the main mission first, or you know, the next part of it. Oh, maybe I should go the other way. Like we have some meatballs on here. Two different things. Let's see. Got it. All right. At least I didn't have to decrypt the dead body, so that's a plus.
Thing here. Okay. Oh, now I have more locations. I guess. The other mission was too short. This one's too long. Oh well. Already go here. I think it said electronic skill too well. Giant chicken nugget. It's good. Nice parking job. We went there. Oh, come on. Geth trap. Now I'm in the middle of it. Oh, God. There's one behind me. Jeez. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just going to back away slowly. All right, all right. Guess I get a little combat practice in the Mako here. Shields are okay. Oh, maybe see what I'm doing. All right, it's good. Eat lead, you calf bastard. Whatever alloy we use. Guessing there's probably nothing to see. I'll just check. No. Okay. That was productive. Okay. Truly a winter wonderland. I need these minerals. Are they in this cave or something? What is this? <laughs> Let's park on top of it right here. <laughs> but I'm not parked on level terrain.
Okay, okay. This is action packed. All right. Parked perfectly as usual. I don't want to talk to the people. I want to get back in the vehicle. Ugh. Mercenary camp. What equipment do I have? Uh, rounds and stuff. Okay. Oh no, there's a bunch of more crap coming up. That's not good. Why don't I do a save? Because I'm sure this couldn't go horribly wrong at all. Alright, what do we have? Glad they send the missiles really slow so I can dodge them. Did I get that one? I think I got that one. Those other ones. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Alright, alright. Jeez. There's a lot going on here. Ah! I just jumped over one. I can't even tell what's going on. Ugh. Stop shooting at me, I'm trying to shoot you. Alright, there's another one. Don't mind me. Okay, where the hell is it? Alright, there's another one. The other one. Oh, it was a sniper or something. Check out the heavy turrets first. Ugh. Just jumped and got blocked by a snowbank. Come on. Nice. Alright, I think there's just some people on the ground over here. At least I'm leveling up. Okay, this looks fun. Um, I don't know if I need to I don't know if those upgrades really matter that much right now. I wanted to level up. Hmm. Actually, yeah, okay, so this episode's getting kind of long. So I'm going to, I kind of don't like dividing it up, but I'm going to save here and I'll go inside the next time. I should have done the longer mission first, but I didn't realize the first one was going to be short and this one was going to be long. <laughs>